push the tires to be a challenge to make these days. You've got larger tractors, they need bigger tires, but they actually need to get over the ground too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and in, in this particular tire, which is in our row crop segment of tires, it's a 480-9550. Uh, obviously in a response to the growing need for, uh, for a tire that's going to be able to uh, be capable of uh, working with the larger uh, horsepower and larger weights and the tractors that we have nowadays, but still maintaining the, the tread width restrictions that we have, which in this particular case is 18.4 inches, we've, we've made a tire that's a lot taller, increasing the chamber, the, the air chamber in the tire. Um, so we're going from what's commonly, the, the 18450 that's commonly known in the marketplace today is a 480 -80 This one's a 9550. 95 rep represents the aspect ratio. So in other words, the, the, the relationship of the sidewall height to the width of the tire in a percentage. So we're going from an 80% to a 95%. So this tire goes to 95% the width of the tire. So the sidewall height is 95%. Therefore, we've increased the volume of the chamber of air to carry uh, heavier loads and obviously transmit power to the ground more efficiently. So talk about some of the challenges, uh, like, you know, I just get heavier horsepower tractors, pulling bigger and bigger implements, bigger planters, on and on and on. What's, uh, what do you need to do in, from a design perspective to address that? Well, again, the main thing is a larger volume of air because the, the volume of air will carry the load at a lower pressure. Uh, deflection is very, very important in order to maintain ground friendliness. So in other words, uh, uh, ground protection or reduced compaction. So obviously with these row crop applications, that's the biggest uh, concern, is compacting the, the ground and obviously getting the power to the ground. So with our ultra flexible sidewall, we're able to allow for deflection, which on a radial tire construction allows the footprint length to grow as large as possible. Like this is the latest Agrivim tire. Tell us about the rest of the lineup and some of the features that you know farmers are, are now rolling on the track. Well, again, as you said, like the Agribib has been in our lineup for, for, for quite a few years and very well accepted. Um, it's a premium, uh, all-purpose uh, ag tire, comes in all the standard sizes. Um, and definitely the performance attributes of the rest of the line are, are, are found on this tire. Uh, ride comfort is a big issue, and we, we provide a, a, you know exceptional ride comfort with the Agribib lineup. Um, as well as uh, uh, ground friendliness or reduced compaction. And again, because of our ultra flexible sidewall, we're able to grow the footprint, the longest possible footprint to give us the, the biggest contact or surface area. And then traction, obviously, is a big thing, and it has tremendous self cleaning properties, which, which is inherent of the Agribib lineup. Now, the new Agribib tire is going to launch this fall, uh, and you're planning a, a launch of John Deere. Again, it'll be launched in 2014. Um, it, it, it typically, with a new size like this, it, it typically will be introduced through the original equipment because there aren't the, there aren't many of them running out there. And then soon after, to be to be introduced to the replacement tire market. Um, essentially, this tire is really designed for the uh, the rear fitment of a mechanical front wheel drive, but it will find other applications, uh, such as uh, it can also be used as a row crop. Uh, a, a setup for four-wheel drive tractors, so you know, eight tires. Um, and it'll also be used on other applications like high clearance sprayers and so on and so forth. So uh, that would be probably where the demand will come in the replacement side, uh, more so than on the original equipment side, um, just because this particular tire will not be found commonly on the existing mechanical front-wheel drive tractors that are in market today. So, um, so it'll probably come in with the OE market first, and then soon after with the RT market for the other applications that this tire wasn't really uh, directly designed for, but will work in th those applications as well. Good stuff, hey, thanks. We'll look forward to the ball. That's great, thank you.